Congratulations on the purchase of your new 393 Wildwood. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the brand new unit here. So Norm here is gonna be the voice explaining everything. He'll point out what we need to know and we'll go from there. If you guys have any questions, you're welcome to contact us, 204-237-7272, and we'll go ahead and answer any questions you have. Propane on, crossover regulator. Batteries connected. So the battery is down below. We've got two propane tanks and a crossover regulator. Right, I see. You have a battery disconnect right here. The battery disconnect. All right. Oh. Very good information on there. Vehicle weight, tire pressures, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, good information. As you go down here, uh, nothing to show you there. Furnace. All right, site service, city water connection, fresh water connection, that's to the holding tank. So that one has active onboard water and that's what the pump runs off of. Yeah, the pump runs only off here. That site service pressurizes your system. All right, water heater. Okay, gas and electric, gas which is inside. Run it on electric, you'll want to test if it's full. Switch is right here. The electric right. switch is there. Yeah. Sewer flusher for your black tank. All right. Gray handle is going to be your gray water tank, which will be sinks and shower. Big wide valve, black handle is going to be your toilet tank. All right. Fresh water drain. So your gray water is the gray handle, the black is the black handle, and the fresh water is the white. Yeah. That's all drain valves. And I see there's got to be a drain valve on the other side. There's going to be a third uh, drain I, handle on the other well, side as well. This is draining direct, or this is a washing machine. Okay. Okay, so this must be direct drain. The washing machine doesn't have a valve, it doesn't fill the tank. Okay. So the washing machine, in order to use the washing machine, it must directly drain so the sewer connection has to be connected for the washer dryer combo to work properly. To drain out properly. Then I'll fill the pipe. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, storage under the bed, sewer hose, stacker jacks, water hose, park adapter. Should be a dog bone as well to go from a 50 to a 15. So we supply a dog bone connection to go from 50 to 30 and then 30 again to 15. So those are the connections you need to adapt down. Do not run your AC unit if you only have a 15 amp cord plugged in. Perfect. Cable satellite inputs. All right, what else do we got? Yeah. Nothing on this side. All right, I suppose I need a light. Step simply pull out. Side switch is all in the front, right? Okay. All the slides are on the same switch. They go out in order of weight, I guess. The lightest to heaviest. <laughs> it's a hydraulic controlled system, so it takes the easiest route possible, which means that it will open the lightest slide first and close the lightest slide first. Everything else will follow. So in the meantime, look at these guys here. You have your monitor ceiling lights for the kitchen, outside speaker lights, water heater on gas, which I'll turn on right away. Okay, monitor panel. Battery, we're plugged in, it's always going to read full. Have to be unplugged to check the battery on here. Fresh tank, empty. Black tank, empty. Uh, I think black too is, is a dud on here. Gray, empty. Galley, empty. And it only has a gray and a black. It doesn't have the gray, galley, and the black too. 
Princess options not in. Okay. What's this light? Awning light? I believe so. Awning light, ceiling so light. This switch here is your awning light, we believe. Yeah, and the outside speaker light. So there's LEDs that go around the blue speakers oh. on the exterior. Just checking. Yes. Awning, outside speaker. Okay. All right. Um, pendant light, uh, whatever you want to call those accent lights over the slides. They're both controlled over that white switch yeah. in front of you. Okay, perfect. Okay. The switch above the sink is, or above this control panel is its own yep. button. Push button. All right, next. Okay, gas is on. Uh, light the stove up. Must hold the knob down on the light position. And hold it till it stays lit. It's got a sensor in it that makes it so that you have to hold it until so, it senses that there's a flame there. Okay, that's how the oven works or the stove top works. Microwaves just like your one at home, only works when the unit's plugged in. The oven. Now you must turn it to a little flame and hold it. There we go. The pilot's lit. So the pilot is the back little flame in that back corner. Right there, let go of the knob, stays lit. Turn the gas on. Boom, done. Perfect. Has an egg timer for your oven. All right. And that is that. Okay, what else do we have here that I have to show you? See, there's a... You have a typical Whirlpool uh, residential style fridge in here, so there's no gas side to it. It's all strictly uh, based off 110. Yeah, has a travel lock screw. So the travel lock screw is just to make sure the door doesn't fly open while you're traveling. That's all that is. All right. It's nice working. and cold. It is working pretty humid out here so it's pretty easy to see that right away all right um other things to know fireplace tvs i'm not going to get into just like the one at home stereo is hooked up to the tv display in here uh, bluetooth all this other stuff i don't get into that too much read the instructions there's an instruction manual supplied in the blue packet that we give. Um, there's multiple different functions. Again, if you guys have any questions, just contact us. Yeah. Um, fireplace, temperature, timer, flame, color, heat right here. Okay. Don't think that one has a remote. Two recliners. Uh, the two re folds into a bed. Right here. Let's take the cushions off. I guess we so, uh, do that, eh? so just for future reference, these two recliners can be in the way of the slides when you're moving them in and out. They have to be in this orientation in order to fold the unit completely. If you don't, you may mark them up. Mm -hmm. And the bed works just like so. All right. I need to show you. Uh, right here we have the hardwired propane leak detector, also a CO detector. Okay. Hear that? Get out of the trailer, shut the gas off, ventilate. Okay, here we have the power converter. Basically everything on the breaker side is only going to work with the trailer plugged in. It's all marked washer, dryer, water heater, air, GFI plugs, uh, fridge, AC2, converter. 
Everything on the fuse side will run off a of battery and propane. That's your slides, your water pump. Got a TV on there, lights, lights, furnace, stereo. Uh, if you burn a fuse, there's a little red LED indicator right beside the fuse. It'll tell you it's burnt. You'll see it through the window. All right, here we have dual zone ACs not wired we only have one ac this one's redundant that's for the bedroom pre-wire ac so it's pre-wired for a secondary ac but there is not one in the unit so no. that one will not do anything yeah that doesn't do anything so we will go to mode here and mode cool turn the temperature Oh, that's as down as it goes. All right. Yeah. It'll take just a quick second for it to fire up. There it is there. So the AC unit is located over top of the kitchen. Um, the duct, if you leave those open, the air comes straight down. If you slide those closed, the air will be ducted throughout the ceiling. So open yeah. means it'll be circulating air in here. Just Closed means it'll circulate air through the ducting in the ceilings. All right, so then we'll go. I'm gonna click this a couple of times. It goes cool low, cool auto, cool high, heat. I don't think the temperature furnace will go on because it's so hot in here right now. It won't go on. I can't remember how to make the temperature uh, all the way up. No, but it'll display what the room temperature is. Oh, you just leave it be. As you can see, it was 87 in here prior. Yeah, the heat will turn on once it's on heat and yeah. it's warm enough that it will kick in. There you go. There it is there. Ha! Ah, yay. The furnace is located in the bathroom. I do not block that grate. That's your fresh air return protected through the floor. So there are multiple ducts throughout the unit that will supply warm air throughout the unit when need be. All right. Central back. Uh, there's parts under the bed. So you would plug the hose in here if you were using it. If you were using it as a sweeper vent. Oh. Yeah. GFI strip. I have no power. Okay, we're gonna double check that before we uh, allow delivery right. of the trailer, but... GFI is true. Typically, so, uh, to make this work, all you have to do is flip the switch and then lift this guy here. It allows it to suck air through the uh, to the sweeper vent and into the, into the vacuum. Uh, I don't believe there's a hose supplied with this, uh, but they, they are available if you wanted to purchase one. Move on into the washer here. Yeah, there is all the vacuum connector stuff right there. Oh, okay, my bad. There yeah. is a hose and whatnot connect uh, in this unit. Yeah. Some of them are not uh, supplied. This one in particular is. All right, well, while we're in here, you have your water hookups for washer, dryer, plug-ins for each, drains for each. All right. This is a drain tube for it. Um, is there uh, underbed storage, really? That's the only thing, really, that's different in these. Storage. This is gas right, struts. Nice shoe cover, shoe shelf. Uh, ceiling fan. Oh, that's the light, outside light. That should be on, just pull the string. It may be because we're on a 15 amp service. We'll look into that again before we deliver, for sure. Right. Uh, okay, in here, that's about it. Storage. USB ports, plugins, reading lights, more light, let's make sure that works. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, this panel here is access to the water heater for bypassing for winter time. 
All right. That's a key one to note. Yeah. That's that's very important when it comes to winterizations. Yeah, you have to know where it is. Uh, what else do I need to show you? I think we're pretty much done in the main area. Otherwise, washroom is pretty much pretty straight straightforward. There is a mirror, your standard systems. There is a fan that's controlled by this controller here that's a little odd. It's not odd, you can't reach it. So. Fair enough. It's controlled by electric motors. It's a 12 volt fan, works really well for expelling uh, anything that's in the washroom. Your shower has your normal on off. And it's also got a button on the head to stop or to pause really when you uh, when you need to lather up or whatever. It's just some extra storage in here. Right. Um, RV toilets are a little different yet too. They have no bowl on the backside, so if you need to add water to them, you simply half push, and the water will flow through the toilet. And then to full full flush, you push all the way. Yes, Norm just said that he need to leave water in the bowl every time, and that's correct. It stops, stops smell. Okay. But otherwise, I believe that is all we need to know about that thing. Uh, if the, you, oh, sorry. One more thing, the water heater. Okay, if you're running on gas, if this fault light stays on, it did not light. So when it's lit, that light should go out. Perfect. Like that. <laughs> so that one, so once it's lit, that light goes out then. Yeah, once okay. it, if it stays on, then that water heater didn't light. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So that should be everything that you need to know about this unit. Again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call 204 237 7272, and we will be plenty happy to answer any questions that you have. Other than those two things that we had found there, real quick, we're going to go through it again, just make sure everything works. And uh, hope we really hope you guys enjoy the trailer. Thanks again for purchasing with Transcom Trailers.